Okay, hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. In this vlog, in this series, um, we're actually going to be creating an exclusive blend for the Donut Life Museum for our friends over at the um, Donut Life Museum in Westminster Mall. So we're going to actually have like a little, I don't know how you say it, like a, not a kiosk, but a little placement for some whole roasted coffee to be sold there. Uh, in the museum, so that would be kind of cool. Um, we're just getting started here, preheating the machine, um, and going to be executing all the new tactics, techniques, and uh, concepts that we learned in class. So that's cool. Okay, in this blend, we're doing a uh, post-roast blend, which means I'm going to roast it first, then I'll blend it, because we're mixing uh, two different elevation type beans. I'm going to do um, what I think is going to be a good blend is a Colombian and then a Peru. So still both washed, so I'm not going to have any issues there, I think. Um, or maybe... Okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> I, I feel like they're too similar. So what I'm going to do is a blend of Colombia, which is washed. It's a high elevation coffee. Um, and uh, from Patronus. And then we're gonna blend it with something a little bit with a little bit more uh, sweetness because the Colombian does have a little bit more fruity notes. It's it's juicier, so I want something with a little bit more body. And I think what we're gonna do is the Nicaraguan honey processed coffee as a base for that. And that will be our exclusive blend for the Donut Life Museum. So I'm excited to make this. Let's get going. Um, we're gonna preheat all the way to like 450 and then try to maintain. As I learned, I hit the timer on the machine right when I turned on the ignition to uh, monitor how long it takes me to get to temperature. And then just make a note of that. For this preheat, what I did was I didn't turn the gas all the way up to full capacity, which for my machine is um, 2.5 kPa. What I did with this 1 kg machine on the preheat was I simply went to about 1.5 kPa I let that rise to about 350 and then I came down a bit to like 1 kPa and I was just kind of like playing around with it until I got to like 400 degrees on the PID and then I came down to like 0.2 kPa to help maintain the temperature. And then um, since I'm going to roast the Nicaragua honey, it's a lower elevation, elevation bean, I'm going to charge at... Um, I think, I think I'm going to charge at 375. I would like to try one time charge 350. Maybe I would. <laughs> I'm still thinking, I'm mulling it over. Like, should I charge at 350 for my honey? Uh, when I go get the green and I look at the elevation, then I'll make a decision. So I'll do that right now. All right. Here we have our Nicaragua Limoncillo Red Bourbon Natural. Um, yeah, so this was a very low, low elevation bean. So let's go for it. Let's try to charge at 350 today and um, kind of coast and go very slow and gentle with this. Especially on the first roast of the machine, it's not up to heat yet. Um, your roaster is not at prime heat like retention and as, a, as operating as, as fully as it can be until about, for this machine, I feel, until about the fifth roast in. So, so you know, because we're a small time roastery, you're not getting the sort of consistency I think you would get with, a, with like, say if you're running all day on the roaster. But you know, we do our best. All right, we're at 410 on the PID. Um, it took us 24 minutes to get here which I think is good for the 1 kg. So now what I'm going to do is measure out my green. I'm going to turn off the roaster and then come down to 350. Okay, so let's do that now. Close this, turn this off. Okay, so now we're at 410. I want to come down to 350. Oh, 
well, the reason why I have a mask on is not really for um, COVID stuff, it's just me. Um, but I learned in class that green carries a lot of particulates and allergens and small, very small, small particles and you could breathe that in. And I did notice that before, but I was like, I guess this is what it is. <laughs> Until Derek mentioned, hey, that, you know, it causes him a rash. And I'm very sensitive to things like that. Um, I have eczema, so I don't want to deal with anything. So I just put a mask on to not deal with any of the allergens that, that come up when you agitate the green. Okay, so we got a thousand here grams of the honey Nicaragua. We're going to charge at 350. Um, Important events during the roast, I'll say stuff, but otherwise I'll be quiet and um, you can kind of just see what I'm doing, okay? So I'll see you later.
turning point, two, point, uh, two uh, minutes eight. Good sign.
<laughs> okay, wow. Um, a late first crack for me in my experience, but we don't, we shouldn't call it late in that, late meaning like it's bad, but um, we're definitely gonna cup this <laughs> to see what this 350 charge has done. Uh, I tried to slow it way down, and I think, I'm thinking it was too slow with the first crack at like almost 11 minutes. But if we're going low and slow for such a low elevation, being 850 meters, so like 1100 meters, I don't know. Let's see, let's see what happens in the cup. It's exciting. We're dropping at 13. Look good. Yeah. Look good. I'm gonna go off this one. It's like ten seconds fast. method of preheating above your charge, turning off the gas and then coming down, and then not touching the gas until a minute for the one minute soak. Different. stuff to like at charge. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think what's throwing me off is this whole like, oh you must have like wherever I learned this first crack at eight minutes, you know, drop at twelve or something like that. Like getting glued to to certain profiles when roasting should really be this this is what I see, hear, and smell. So I'll do this. You know, like present, like in the moment. Like not tied down to a rule. I think it's gonna be hard to do that. In terms of roasting and getting better, I think that's really not what we should be saying. It should be like, uh, comfortable. Being comfortable because there's so many variables to address, and I think it's it's good to start off with some rules, so you have a a, devi um, a standard, and then you can deviate from the standard like where you see fit, you know, as a roaster. But um, this tripping me out having a first crack like a lot later than eight or nine minutes. <laughs> But our ROR is steadily going down, so we're still following that rule. Um, I think we're in really good shape. Probably gonna drop around 14 minutes.
Narazba na mieście. So here's my take. I'm gonna keep taste uh, cupping this about nine minutes in. Um, getting jam on the front, dark chocolate on the mid, and then like a clementine peel, orange peel. Not really orange because I don't really remember. We have a lot of clementines in the fridge right now and that's what I've been eating. And I feel like that peel or those little white thingies, there's a bitterness to it and then, and it finishes like an astringent finish like uh, black tea finish which is not bad that's great um, I think this is going to be a nice compliment um, and it'll kind of round off when I blend it um, with the other coffee over there uh, the Colombian so I'm going to let this cool for a little bit more and just keep keep tasting it Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in terms of what this means for the experimental roast that I did, now these all went low and slow. I think, I think I want to go to, um, my typical charge times are like 380. I think I want to try like, 375 or something. I feel like I'm not carrying enough energy in the front. And I think that could be the charge time, which is really the only thing I've changed with these, the charge time. And they're what I call experimental roasts. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I didn't try one at a, at a, at a 375 or a 380 charge, like what I typically do for everything. Um, so, but I did, I did 380 for other, um, for other ones, so I have those as well, so I feel like, I feel like 350 is too low as a charge. I think it's, it's okay as a, that it's going into a blend, and it's just gonna be one component of the whole profile of this cup. Um, which I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. But um, I don't think I would do this as like a, a single origin roast and then sell it as single origin. Um, I would go back to my old profile for this uh, Nicaraguan honey. So, mm, cool, interesting. Just find, find stuff out all the time. Let's keep cupping it.
Mm-hmm. Yep. Still tasting the same, so. Mmm. Cool. Successful cupping. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and bag these guys. Um because they're not gonna be consumed right away, probably gonna be consumed in a couple of weeks. So I'll go ahead and bag them. I know that they're gonna be resting in the bags. Um, and we're doing an experimental run, a very short run of this. Um, I think I might have some, if I do have some leftover, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Where I'm only doing like eight ounces, maybe 12 ounces at a time. Um, but uh, yeah, we plan on releasing these in the Donut Life Museum. That's the plan, but we'll see. Plans can change, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and bag these and um, we'll get started. <laughs> 